The Potter's House is committed and will continue to stand ready to serve the needs of the community in times of trouble. First responders and emergency relief teams continue to show us their dedication in helping safeguard us against the threat of COVID-19. It's a disease that's taken the country by storm, has taken police by storm, and it's taken us all by storm. So for us, we still have a job to do. We've seen them, we've called upon them, and when needed, they were there. This is what they do. This is why they're here. They're offering, they're volunteering for extra shifts um, and to make sure that their colleagues have help beside them and patients have enough uh, caregivers to provide the best care we can provide. They all have families at home. Some have small children at home, but they choose to do this work. The Potter's House appreciates their tireless actions and have committed to providing 1,000 freshly made meals to first responder stations in Lancaster, DeSoto, Duncanville, Arlington, Dallas, and hospitals like Parkland and John Peter Smith. These health and emergency workers need our help and help is on the way. We've enlisted the help of local chefs and caterers to provide these 1,000 fresh meals to our first responders so that they can remain healthy as they serve and care for us. Something I think the Potter's House has really hit on, a way to the uh, cop's heart is through a stomach. So we definitely appreciate the food. What this will mean to our staff is, I can't even tell you. I mean, they will feel valued and appreciated and especially by our faith community and we couldn't be more grateful. Thank you. On behalf of the Dallas Police Department, Chief Hall and myself, I'd like to say thank you to the Potter's House for remembering us in this time of need. I'd like you to join in and help us to continue what we do best, and that's providing hope, healing, and resources to those within our community.